So why would a prepper need to even worry about having a tablet computer, much less a rugged one? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. We're going to get into it, and I'm going to tell you all about this guy that I have been working with now for about a month when we come back. All right, so without any more waiting, I'm going to tell you, this is the Ocatel RT8, the Rugged Tablet 8. This is an 11-inch 2K display, 20,000 milliamp hour battery, a 40 megapixel, 48 megapixel Sony camera, and this thing keeps ru things running smoothly and efficiently with 6 gigs of base memory. It's expandable up to 12 gigs, and it has a 256 gigabyte built-in internal storage, and you can upgrade it up to a terabyte. This thing is pretty awesome. Now, what are my uses for it, and why would a prepper need it? Well. Much of our lives are online these days. Something like this in, in an internet source of some kind, which you saw with Nomad Internet, I have internet pretty much anywhere as long as the cell towers are up, would give me the ability to access my documents, maybe even online banking if it's still up and running. Remember, when we're talking about devices like this, we're talking about small, localized, short-term disasters. We're not talking about some nationwide EMP attack that wipes out everything. We're talking about your everyday disasters. Maybe you got displaced from a fire. Maybe you have to move somewhere because the neighbor next door has a gas leak. You know, this will still allow you to be able to access your important information online, do your online banking, and it even has maps and a GPS built into this. So that can help you too, as long as all that stuff is still up and running. We're not talking about some kind of EMP, end of the world, nuke disaster with the zombies coming for you. We're talking about your everyday real basic scenario where something could happen and you'd need to get online and take care of things. You can load this up with a bank of educational ebooks, videos, healthcare, first aid, disaster recovery stuff, basic electrical and plumbing work, and even then, in some kind of total grid down scenario, it has a use because you can use it as an e-reader. You can store all of your documents on here. Now that's, you know, again, making sure that it's protected from any kind of EMP attack. Um, you've seen the uh, SLNT sleeves that I have reviewed for tablets excellent source of emp protection all right so you can download all the wikipedia on here actually the wikipedia database is surprisingly small uh there's a bunch of survival books you can download first aid books could be useful if you added a small little solar panel list you'd be able to run it for years you know basically off the sun so something like this especially a rugged version like this and we'll show you all the features on this in a second is definitely something you want now, why would I want it? Well, what I'm using this for is ham radio stuff, okay? And as you can tell by the apps on here, and you, the scrolling on this is so smooth, it's so fast. Um, this is like a gaming computer for a tablet, essentially. But as you can tell by the apps on here, most of them are ham radio related. I have HF weather facts, so I can receive weather faxes online. I mean, off the internet and off my radio. Uh, it uses the speaker, the microphone to decode the data and give me a weather fax. I have information weather satellites. I have Morse decoder, Droid RTTY, so I can recode RTTY. I have FT8 on here somewhere. Uh, Pocket TRX Lite, that allows me to listen to uh, ham radio. Uh, GPS data, all that kind of stuff. I even have a couple of apps for programming a future radio that we're going to be seeing here in a bit. And there'll be a bunch more. Again, this is very limited to what I have right now. I don't even have a logging software on here for ham radio. and I, I've been trying to find a good one. If anybody has some suggestions, for ham radio logging for a tablet leave them down below but the performance on this thing is absolutely amazing so let's talk about the tablet really quick before i give you some demos of what it can do there's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery okay we told you that it's an 11 inch 2k display it's running the mediatek helio g99 uh processor in this this thing is fast okay I was amazed. This is faster than one of my computers, one of my older computers. I have two on my desktop, and this is faster than that, and that's a pretty decent computer, okay? So you get 90 days of standby on this with that battery. It does have Corning Gorilla Glass on it, and the nice part about it is it tends not to get a ton of fingerprints. You know how these get after a while, but it doesn't matter because even if it does get fingerprints or wet, it's IP68 rated with an IP69K rating. So even in the harshest environments, this Ocatel RTA tablet will take water, dust, all that. And that's important for me because I'm out here in the desert. We get freak rainstorms, we get a lot of dust. And I have wiped this thing clean. Like I said, I've had this about a month. I have wiped this clean thing clean multiple times because <laughs> it gets dusty out here. And it's a bit of a chore to keep all my radios clean over there. I, you know, they stay pretty clean. This is also past military grade drop resistance, okay? So for you folks who are in construction, uh, maybe 
maybe you're a volunteer firefighter and kind of trucking scenario type thing something like that really awesome it's also designed to withstand temperature ranges really wide temperature ranges like minus two to 140 or 120 degrees or something so that's going to be very handy for me out here because my garage gets warm and if i'm taking this out in the field to do like a poda or parks on the air or something um, i don't have to worry about this getting wet hot dusty whatever um, the thing is built like a tank. I'm going to give you a quick little look around it uh, really quick. And I'm going to explain the accessories that come with it, too, because there's a reason it's standing like this. You notice on the back here, there is a uh, little foldable thing here. This also works if you want to fold it this way. OK, so you can use that. This, come, this does not come installed. You can install this on your own. OK, very, very easily. Uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the accessories it comes with. Hang on one second here. First of all, we get a plug for USB-C to USB-C, and this thing charges quickly, by the way. You'll get a cable. You will get this strap. Now, I didn't put this strap on mainly because I mistakenly thought it had something to do with this carry strap. Um, this will carry like this. See the things there. So eventually what I'm going to do is take these off, flip this around so I can have the carry strap upright. And I'm going to slip this under each side of this. See where it goes under here on these little raised bars there so i have the option of carrying it like this if i want to as well but again for what i was doing i was just using this um, to stand up like this at my ham radio section over here so this runs android 13 okay has massive storage on it and you can expand it up to one terabyte and it's got all these cool accessories too so I'm going to give you a quick look and show you just how well this thing processes. Uh, we're going to try some little pocket or RTX lights, see if we can pick up anything on it, and just let you hear the sound and see how quickly this thing responds. So we are listening to hams over the internet here using this, uh, this app. And it was too loud. I had to actually turn it down. You can see really, really quick response on it. I mean, this is just like tuning... A regular radio on the bottom there so very very quick I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit on you but definitely really really handy very very fast uh, very responsive uh, it does have the waterfall display on here and you see how quickly and smoothly that's moving just like a regular radio on my other tablet it was kind of jerky and it would kind of move weird this thing is just smooth all the way around so I have been very very impressed with this uh, it works very very well and uh, to by the way, close the apps. There's no buttons on the bottom. You're just going to swipe them up. It's the newest version of Android. Uh, very, very impressive with it. Very, very fast and responsive. Uh, for, for decoding Morse code, and I did a little uh, weather facts reception, this thing was just flawless. So definitely very cool. One thing I want to talk to you about is the camera. This has a 32 megapixel front camera, a 48 megapixel main camera. Front meaning this way, main meaning that way. As you can see by the lenses there it's quite an impressive array and this is all i want to get this like this for you this is all built in around the outside with a thick heavy casing on it so you don't have to worry about this thing falling i started the calculator by accident you don't have to worry about this thing falling over or getting broken you have on the side here your type c okay and your sim card port here they do give you a little uh, piece to open that up i put in an external external uh flash card in there for memory this is a cell phone this will work on t-mobile in the united states so if you get a sim card from t-mobile you can use this as a cell phone you can have wireless access on it as well thinking about doing that but right now for the meantime i just wanted to use it as a ham kind of computer over there uh, it does do bluetooth very well i have a bluetooth keyboard and i can just zip along and type on this thing without any kind of issue whatsoever so let's take some pictures with this thing and show you the video and let you see the, the picture quality on this it's a little windy out here but man the, the view on this thing is amazing you know i'm so used to looking at a little tiny cell phone and uh, having to there's a ham down the street, by the way. Having to squint at it, you know. As your eyes get older, they don't always work as well. But the video on this is just amazing. And the screen has this big, huge screen. It's like one of those big monitors on a uh, professional movie camera. So I don't know how the audio is coming out. Hopefully I'm not covering up the uh, microphone with my fingers anywhere. But uh, I am absolutely loving this thing. This is really cool. Okay, let's take some pictures. So you've already seen the video, but I wanted to show you what it looked like on here when I was telling you this is just so amazing to have this big monitor 
<laughs> where you're looking at this stuff. It's just really cool. So as far as video quality, um, if you happen to want to chronicle anything that's going on during an emergency, right here, man, that is just pff, beautiful video quality. I don't know how the audio comes out. It sounds a little low on here. Hopefully it didn't come out low on the, uh, on the uh, picture itself, on the video itself. I might have been covering up a microphone. I'm great for that. I'll grab something to cover up the microphone really, really well. So, all in all, this thing is built like a tank. It is just really, really well made. And for, you know, if, again, this is one of those preps that's nice to have. It's not required. It's nice to have some kind of rugged computing system where you can grab some information off the internet during a non-grid down disaster end of the world scenario. And we need to think about those things because it's not always the end of the world. Sometimes it's a house fire down the street that they're evacuating you for. Sometimes it's an earthquake, a flood, you know, something that um, is just a normal natural disaster. I mean, heck, we got a solar eclipse coming up today. <laughs> I really don't think that's going to be a problem. But you never know. I mean, this, this really gives you the ability to not only document whatever you're doing, but have a way to store a ton of information on it, have a way to access the internet and you know, non-internet ending emergencies. And it's really handy for us ham radio operators who might want to use this during a field day event or during using this for APRS or whatever. And the data cable does work as a serial cable. So I, I put the, uh, I put it on here. It's a IP serial Bluetooth terminal. So that's for Bluetooth, but I didn't need the program that makes this a serial terminal on this USB-C. So it does work as a serial terminal and you can run this as an APRS screen as well. For those of you that don't know, that's automatic position reporting system for ham radio. Basically, it's a bunch of hams driving around with little beacons in their car and you can watch it on a monitor for the most simplest explanation. So all in all, I am very, very pleased with this thing. It is really, really excellent. And like I said, this thing is uh, immersible in water up to 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes, okay? You got a 10 inch wide screen here, 10 inch up and down, 6.7 inches that way. Thickness is about a half an inch and it weighs about two pounds. This is a beefy little guy and you can, if you want, carry him like that. I'm gonna back the camera out a little bit because I realized I was zoomed in. You can carry it around like this too. You don't need that little monitor there. You can put that other, uh, there we go. You can put that other little hook on it here and carry it around as a arm kind of sling kind of configuration. Or you can put this on as well. They even give you a little screwdriver to screw those little screws in and a bunch of extra screws, as well as probably the most important tool of this, if you've ever tried to get out an SD card, one of these guys. <laughs> The first time I tried to open that thing, um, the, the the thing itself is very well protected. The plastic cover over it, the rubber cover. And I needed this because there was no way I was getting it. So all in all, an excellent, affordable, decent quality, rugged tablet that's going to really serve you well. I am very pleased with it. I can't begin to thank them enough for sending this for me for review. It's not something I'd normally do, um, but I figure, you know, I have something like this because I have... All of my emergency information downloaded on here. Uh, I do have it stored on here. And uh, this is something I can grab and go. It's literally in my garage right next to where I do my videos. On my way out the door, I can grab this thing, toss it in my vehicle when I bug out, and I'm ready to go. So, and it has all of my important survival documents on it. So it's important to have a digital copy as well as a copy on paper for those bigger grid down scenarios where things aren't ever going to return to normal. I love the fact that it's got a GPS in it. We're going to do a quick GPS data here. I want to show you the uh, satellite. I don't want to show you my location, of course, but <laughs> I want to show you the satellites that it pulls in. And just like that, I have a satellite lock. Um, that was very, very, very quick. Uh, like within 10 seconds, I literally flipped it this way and hit the satellites because I wanted to show you the satellites that it's pulling in. And just like that, it had a satellite lock. Now, I do have location services turned on on this. That isn't something I'd recommend for a cell phone because you're carrying it around and it allows whatever or whoever to track where you are. This is going to be sitting about five inches that way <laughs> and nobody's going to care where it goes. I can always turn it off as well. Um, so definitely an impressive little item. Uh, a very handy prep, I would say. Uh, again, you got your files here. So I have all of my internals files. Close that up. All of my internal files here. And uh, you can also clean up all the mess on here too. You know how uh, a lot of times you get caches and stuff and tons of apps running. It'll slow it down. You can do a lot with that. So definitely a cool little item. Anyway, the link will be down below. I want to let you know the price because these are not cheap. 
but they're not as expensive as some of the other rugged tablets I've seen, okay? These are on sale right now. You're going to say about 17% of $60. They were $359.99, so $360. Bucks. They are now $299.99, so $300. So you are going to save a bit of money. And trust me, if you've bought those cheaper tablets off of Amazon from unknown names and you struggle with them and they're frustrating and they're slow you're gonna want this guy trust me it's just like it's a whole other world i could actually edit video on this and i'm planning i might be doing that in the future uh, putting it together a little editing suite on here so i can edit some youtube stuff on it as well it's really really fast so i thank you guys for watching the link will be down below to check this out if you're interested again this isn't a need to buy because you're going to die if you don't have it it's a nice to have um you know when we think of prepping we think of prepping for the big disasters and the little small ones too. And something like this can definitely save your butt when you need to access maybe your online banking. Maybe you get dip displaced during a flood and you have to leave your home. But you got to transfer that paycheck over to another account so that all those bills on auto pay get paid. Well, it saves you from that disaster <laughs> in a way. So I thank you guys for watching. Link for this will be down below. Our Amazon affiliate store will be down below as well. I don't believe this is on Amazon. I have a direct link to the company on this one. Um, you will be saving some money on it, so it's definitely a cool deal right now. Our freeze dried wholesalers link. Don't forget that link as well. Um, I have a very cool bunch of stuff coming up from him this month. We have a really cool special coming up on a bunch of new stuff, so definitely check the link out. Uh, the, the stuff is up there right now, and if you use my code, you'll save 15% on it. It's all desserts and cookie doughs and stuff, and we're going to bake them on the channel, so definitely stay tuned. Anything else on the, you know, you'll, you'll save 15% anything else on the site. All you got to do is click my link down below, and you'll do that. Below that are my Patriot Supply. That's preparewithiridium.com. Got some awesome deals going on there. And, of course, there's always our Thrive Life link. Don't forget that as well. I thank you guys for watching. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. Stay safe and stay prepared.